In this video, we are going to integrate. We are going to integrate this, but this time around, the uh, the x squared will be a minus. So in the case of x squared being a minus, um, complete the square on this bit. Complete the square. So rewrite this thing as um, as minus, and then the whole thing. Um, well, you can do whichever way you want. Somehow get to here. But uh, in in the case of it being a minus, in the case of x squared being a minus, uh, factor out the uh, the minus one. And then that will then give you this. Now complete the square on this bit here. So um, so that will then give us this bit here. Remember, it's always it's always going to be half of this thing here, which will give you a six. But then when you make this, it'll be your your guess. Uh, x minus six squared minus six squared will give you will give you something. And then this times this will give you thirty six. But you don't want this thirty six, so you need to take away thirty six. So anyway, complete the square on this bit. That will then give you that will then give you this. Now turn it back. So you've got this times this. That will then give you a minus this thing here. And then this times this will then give you a positive 36. So complete the square on this bit. That will then take you to here. Once you've got this, put this back into here. Or well, do whichever way way you want. You can actually just jump to this and by and bypass this. Well, take take yourself to here and then put this back into here. That will then give you this. That will then give you this. Okay, so uh, so this bit here is this thing here. And then now um, now your eyes should zoom into this bit here. And then create a triangle in such a way, create a triangle in such a way that this thing here will be true. Well, if you um, if if you look at this bit here, if you look at this bit here, um, if you create the hypotenuse to be six. And the adjacent uh, and, and the opposite to be uh, to be this thing here. Then the adjacent will have no choice but to be this thing here, six squared minus this thing squared. Then the adjacent will will be this. So now um, now now if you look at this, but, but by the way, no, we we could use ten, but then ten would be really ugly uh, because this thing is really complicated. Let's use a six. So you instead of using instead of using ten. Let's use uh, sine. So sine will be easier to work with. So sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse times both sides by six. Take away both uh, add both sides by six. That will then give you this. So dx dx uh, would would be this. So later on we can put this into the dx. And then uh, this complicated thing here. Well, that's this bit here. So uh, if, if you look at this, um, it, if you look at cos theta, cos theta equals adjacent, adjacent over over hypotenuse, over hypotenuse. So that would then give give you this. So um, so times both sides by six. So that would then give you that would then give you this thing here. So uh, so this complicated thing here, which is this complicated thing here, we can put six cosine cosine theta into here. We can put this into here. So, uh, so when you put this into here, it will then give you this. And when you put this into here, that will then give you this. And this here is a mistake. Okay. So, um, so, uh, so this this whole thing here will then become this without the d without the d theta. Okay. So that will then take us to hang on. So now, uh, now the six will cancel out. The two sixes will cancel out. Um, cosine, cosine will cancel out. So it's really one d theta, d theta here. So the whole thing here will then take you to um, to here. Okay, and then uh, and then now um, now we integrate this. That will then give you theta plus c. But we don't want the answer in terms of theta. So we would go back to our original diagram and then translate this theta. Well, if you if you look at sine. Sine theta equals opposite opposite over hypotenuse over hypotenuse. So if you want theta, then uh, then inverse sine. So inverse sine equals uh, inverse sine of this equals theta. So now you can put this back into here. So that would then give you this plus your constant. So your final answer would be this. Okay.